Hey, Sleeping Amy family, welcome back to the channel. Today, okay, I couldn't stop myself. I really wanted to open up this other one. I promise, promise, promise. I have a couple more that I'll hold off. <laughs> I have like a Darkness of Blaze and a Pokemon Go one, but I'll hold off on those. I really wanted to open up this, being that, <laughs> When I opened up these before, I've actually opened up one before on the channel. I opened it up with my brother. He actually opened up the ice one. I opened up the shadow one. So he actually does have another one himself too, but it was actually really good. <laughs> and thinking about it, these products were kind of the first release for these sets. So them being really bad, like that Fusion Strike one, and actually that Astral Radiance one, really doesn't come off that well to for Pokemon for the scent because of that so but the unique thing about these this ETB in particular this was the first one to be released this was the first Pokemon Center exclusive ETB and they messed it up <laughs> they completely messed it up in that these were supposed to have 10 packs. They actually have eight. And they sent uh, apology blister packs to everybody who bought them. Which, again, have already actually been opened up on the channel. Um, we opened up those a long time ago. And this was the first time. And their initial release uh, was a flop, so. But since then they've learned, I really like those sleeves, those look good. And they've made them better. <laughs> and they've made sure the correct amount of packs were in there. So we have eight packs, even though they're supposed to be 10. So we'll get into this. And uh, it is pre-release weekend for Twilight Masquerade. I really wanted to talk about this first. Cause it's just like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is pre-release weekend for Twilight Masquerade. And I do intend on getting some pre-release kits to open up on the channel. I'm gonna be able to go to one uh, that's local to me. If anybody in the area knows where Wind Condition is in Georgia, that is the one that's closest to me that I will be going to. Um, look at that. Yeah, that I'll be going to. <laughs> uh, they have several time slots. I'm going to the earlier time slot. And I'm taking the trade binder with me as well. So maybe I can make some trades while I'm there. And then we got a whaler in. This set also had a name to it. I'm sure everybody knows, Chilling Pain. <laughs> because the hits were not so good out of this one. People had a tough time pulling stuff. And there are a few cards still left that I would like to get from Chilling Rain. This actually has some of my favorite alternate arts. My favorite alternate art is the Zero Aura. We got a really boom hollow. Is the Zero Aura that came out in this set. Another one is actually the Zapdos. So I love the Zara Aura, and it was actually gifted to me, which is super nice. And uh, I think I actually traded in some bulk for the Zapdos a long time ago. I think that was the first time I ever traded in bulk at a place in North Carolina. So I traded that in and got the Zapdos alternate artwork, which I was very excited for. It was my, one of the chases out of this set for me. And uh, gosh, we have the gold Snorlax out of this set. There's the uh, Galarian Rapidash. There were a lot of really good artwork cards in this set when it came out. And of course, the debut of Path to the Peak. A very, very good card to play in the TCG. All these cards have since rotated out, <laughs> so no longer playable. 
which path to the pink was very frustrating to me. But again, very, very good set. I think rotating path to the peak out has kind of made it a little bit better. Or I guess a little less frustrating with some ride on decks and especially the Charizard, but Charizard is still is still <laughs> a beast. Alright. Well let's see if we can get anything out of these packs. So far we just got our hollow Rilla boom and we got two left, so. <laughs> Trying to remember when I opened up Chilling Rain, how well I did. And I know I pulled, I pulled a few gold. I actually think I pulled both gold energy that came out. It was the water and I think the fighting. And then I actually did pull a couple of alternate arts. I know I pulled the alternate art Ice Rider Calyrex. And let's see, where are the other ones? <laughs> There are a lot of good ones, but I know when I was opening packs with Kyle, he actually was opening some of the packs I got and he ended up pulling the alternate art Moltres from one of the packs I got. So that was really cool too. That's another very good one. <laughs> and uh, some of the ones I'm still hunting are the Articuno, Blaziken, and the Shadow Rider. All right, this is our last pack out of here. and. This ETB was an utter dud. <laughs> I will say it. Out of all the ones you've opened up, this was probably the worst. Being that we only got two hollows out of there and no hits whatsoever. But it's always fun to open up this older stuff. Let's see if I can get this tin. And I was just curious inside. The sleeves are really cool. The coin is awesome. I'll keep those. And I can always use everything else. I can always trade in. So we got this Dragonite tin. I actually got both of them from Walgreens the last day where it was 25% off. I always look for deals on cards. I really do. <laughs> and let's see. There is a code here. Can we get it out? Oh, it's right in front. <laughs> I'll put that in the trash. But well, we got our nice Dragonite, and it's got a swirl. Okay, we'll put this in a sleeve. Now this is by no means a promo card. It's just a hollow foil Dragonite. But I figured I get the Dragonites because Mudkip loves Dragonite. And this is the packs in there: Silver Tempest and Two Lost Origin. So more of the Sword and Shield sets, which I expected, um, but hey, I'm, I'm excited. I like Sword and Shield, uh, <laughs> especially the, these sets that came out in the very last year. They all had the Trainer Gallery cards, and we got our V-Star. I used to collect all the V-Star markers. Goodness, I had so many of them. <laughs> But hey, we got the Trainer Gallery in this set too. And there we go, the Braxton. We got our Braxton Trainer Gallery. Throw this one in a sleeve. Can't get my sleeve out. I believe that's with Serena in the next to Braxton. And we got Lost Origin. I'm gonna shift these over here a little bit. <laughs> and that pack just peeled right open. And yes, we are doing the card trick on all of these because, well, why not? <laughs> so let's see. We got Porygon, Ducklet, Flipbug, Greedence into a Mimikyu. And last one out of here. And we will double check to make sure the contents of the other one are the same as well. They probably will be, which is not right. Lost Origin is actually the set from Sword and Shield. I have not master set it yet. I am missing one card out of the sets, 
And yes, yes, it is in fact the Giratina. Ooh, we got one of my favorites, Spirit Tomb and a Shift Tree Hollow. I love the Spirit Tomb card. It also looks like it has eyeballs right there, so. Set that there. So we got two trainer galleries out of there, it's not too bad. And yep, I am actually missing the Giratina from Lost Origin. It is on, I think I'm missing eight total altar arts from Sword and Shield, which some of them are not super expensive I'm missing. Some are very expensive. So <laughs> one of those, I will get them. It will take time though. You guys will see it because I will show them off as always in Mailbag Monday. So <laughs> sometimes I will also uh, put pictures up on Twitter. <laughs> but yep, it's the same lineup, Silver Tempest and Two Lost Origin, which again, it's not a bad lineup. Let's see if we can get something good out of these packs. I still am very happy we got such good pulls out of that Silver Tempest one. They weren't, you know, super, super crazy, but hey, we got a very good amount of hits out of there. I think if I had opened that when I was first collecting Silver Tempest, I would have been very, very excited. So we got Deep Hider, Spinda, Zara Aura, and two of Ranunculus. <laughs> and to our next pack. I also don't know if the code cards on these are updated or not because they still have the different coloring, but being that code cards in Scarlet Violet era don't really matter that much. Uh, I'm wondering if they just threw a code card on there. We got Bronzor, Lampet, into a Mr. Mime. I remember doing this in Ashery, or Ashery's, in <laughs> Legends of Arceus. This is very tricky <laughs> to get the Mr. Mine. Oh my goodness. I think I got stuck at one point and I had to like start over. All right, we are into our last pack here. So we got two trainer galleries out of that 110. So far, nothing out of this other one. We'll boot Mikey up and Eevee. We did get hollows though. For Sword and Shield, hollows are a bit of a hit. So <laughs> as frustrating as that is, since we get hollows in every single pack now. But we got Electrike, Murkrow, Hisuian Growlithe into a Dugong. No last pack magic. We did get those awesome, awesome Dragonite cards. I just like the hollow foil on them. We did get two trainer galleries, and then we, surprisingly enough, I thought we'd at least hit something out of Chilling Rain, but in keeping with its name, it is definitely Chilling Pain for sure. So, <laughs> but uh, like I said, I'm definitely gonna be doing some Twilight Masquerade pre-releases, or at least the one I will tweet out my pulls, so. So uh, just keep it on my Twitter if you guys follow me on Twitter, or X. I, uh, I'll be tweeting out any hits that I get, or at least the promo that I get out of my box. And I'm going to try to get some extra ones too. Because I always try to at least get a total of four uh, build-in battles, just to see if I can pull all four promos. Definitely trade <laughs> if I don't pull it, so. <laughs> but again... I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't one of the ones that had a lot of pulls. <laughs> we had a few hollows and a couple of hits, but nothing too crazy. And uh, stay tuned for some Twilight Masquerade, because like I said, I always get extra ones to open with you guys on the channel. But until then, have a great Saturday, have a great pre-release weekend, and as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.